Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Taurus. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, bulls. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy-ass temple of yours, Taurus, as it take care of you, my loves. Welcome back. Come on in. Have a seat. Grand rising, grand evening, wherever you are. I hope all has been well, bulls. Shout out to the evolving spirits. Shout out to the soul tribe members, gang, gang. I appreciate you all so much for your continuous love and support. Thank you all so much. Shout out to the soul tribe, gang, gang. And welcome back to my beautiful Patreon family. Thank you all so much for your love, your support. I enjoyed our one-on-one -on -one oracle messages. Thank you all as well for your feedback, your comments. I appreciate you. And welcome to the ones that are new here. It is definitely a honor and a pleasure to have you here. I definitely hope you enjoy the content here today. If it feels fulfilling to your spirit, love, we would love to have you here as well as part of family. All right, definitely don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the join link down below and join the soul tribe, all right? So we're going to get into your messages here today, bulls, all right? My apologies. I had my heater on in here. Okay, honey. All right. But however, loves, again, we're going to dive into your reading here today. This week, we are focusing in on the color purple. Yes, we have been focusing and definitely following our intuition when it comes to working with the color purple, which represents your crown chakra. All right. Following your intuition, using your discernment and going out the what is feeling right in your spirit to do. All right, so that's definitely the focus here this week with focusing, excuse me, with the color purple and using that law of attraction and manifesting whatever that may be for you, okay? So we're going to first start out here with an oracle message here from your guardian angels and your ancestors here, bull. I'm going to continue to lay out the messages as well when it comes to your love life. All right, we're going to see what's coming towards you here for love, all right? Yes, fuck it up for the month of December here. We're going to see what's coming towards you. And we're also going to stay tuned. We're going to see how the people or this particular person feels about you here as well. All right. So let's go ahead and dive in it, boys. Bam. Ooh. All right. My apologies. I had my, let me make sure my deck. Okay. Yes. My deck was upside down. I wanted to make sure that that card was rather coming out upright or in reverse there for you, okay? My apologies. There we have loneliness here, bulls, okay? I know that I am never alone, okay? So some of you all at this time here, you may feel alone, all right? You may feel like you don't have anyone in your corner or you don't have anyone to talk to or just kind of express yourself here, I feel. But know that you're not alone, okay? Do you notice how there are several ancestors and guardian angels that is around you okay you gotta imagine yourself being here on earth okay because i've been here i've done that i got this t-shirt okay there are several times i used to think or at least feel like i was lonely but in reality you're not okay so this is us here right we're on earth here okay bulls and you have all these guardian angels and these ancestors that are around you here okay these ancestors here are to help guide you and allow you is what I had to understand that in reality, you're not alone. There's too many damn fucking stars out here in the universe and too many guardian angels and ancestors that runs through your genetic genes, DNA, okay, that are with you at all times, literally, because they're connected, okay? So when you think about it in that perspective here, Taurus, know that you're not alone, okay? Know that you have several of guardian angels and ancestors in your corner. You just got to be there to listen, okay? All right? I feel like that was very significant for someone. I definitely hope that helped. If you would love more oracle messages and going more into what it is that is focusing for you particularly, definitely join our Patreon family. That is where I go more into details with each 
family member there that I do a oracle message for each person and we go deeper into the meaning and how it is playing out in their life, okay? And I break it down for each Patreon member. I do this for them once a week where it's a one-on-one -on -one check in with me and our Patreon family and ways to help us evolve spiritually, mentally, and emotionally with using oracle messages each week to keep us on track as we are spiritually, emotionally evolving, okay? So definitely if that's something you would love to do, the Patreon access is available on the homepage. You also get early access to all the content here that I provide here on this platform with YouTube. You also get live streams with me on camera. Yes, you get to put a face to the voice. I do offer free questions for Patreon members each and every time I go live. So if they have a question they want to have, I'd be more than happy to assist them there as well. And I also do check-ins for them. And again, we also have uh, pre-recorded readings where I am on camera as well. And again, you get early content to all of my readings here before I post it here on YouTube, all right? So definitely if that's something that you're interested in towards, we would love, love again to have you a part of our Patreon family, all right? Definitely click that link down below or definitely go to the homepage where it does provide you to directly to the other side there if you would love to extend your stay here, all right? So let's move forward into your love life. Let's see what's coming towards you for love. Ooh, all right. So let me make sure that this desk is not upside down. And yes, wow, it is, all right? So we'll just pull each card over as we go. All right, so we have here the Page of Pentacles, all right? This is Earth energy here, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo here, okay? So some of y'all, this person may be an Earth sign like yourself here that is coming towards you here, okay? Some of you all, this particular person here is coming with a message. We know that the Page of Wands here represents messages that are coming in from in regarding their mindset here is to build with you because we have a pentacle here. So this person here basically wants to establish an opportunity here with you or even run across an ideal here just to kind of see where your thoughts I feel like here towards or your feelings are when it comes to this particular opportunity here, okay? Others of you all are going to be learning something new here, okay? The Page of Wands also talks about learning, getting more information about something new that you may be exploring, manifesting for yourself. Also talks about getting good ideals, downloads, things of that sort that's going to be able to bring you a source of some type of stability here or income even establishing for yourself here. So let's see what this offer here is all about, okay? Ooh. We got the Seven of Swords here. Now, this is air energy here. Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra there, okay? So, some of y'all, this person could be an air sign here, all right? Uh, Earth sign here as well. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra here. But we all know that the Seven of Swords, at least most of us, not all of us, okay? I have to remind myself that we get new, beautiful souls coming here each and every day. So, not everything here is understanding to be able to view here from the cards, right? And this is our job. So it's okay. This is our job as a tarot reader to explain what each card here is meaning of, okay? So we know that the Seven of Swords here talks about this is your mental state of your mind representing the swords, the mental part of your mental state of mind, right? So in this particular person's state of mind here, there's a situation where either they are planning, okay, and they're doing this in a sneaky way, strategizing here, or this person here is doing something sneaky behind closed doors here, okay? So let's get into this particular person's energy here. The world cards, okay? Wow, this talks about a cycle here that has closed out as far as a karmic cycle here where you, however, or this person here has passed a test here, okay? And this cycle has been completed here. So now there's a new beginning here. It's again why we have this page of pentacles energy here, this fresh energy here, this fresh new start type an ideal here, okay? So someone here from your past here or this particular person's past that you're engaging here with, this person has came across a cycle that finally has been able to close out for them because of situations that may have betrayed this particular person or you here in the past. And now that that cycle has closed out, the test has been passed here with the world card here. Now there's new opportunities, even when it comes to love, Taurus, okay? Rather, this is resonating more for you and your partner, or this is what's going on with your partner and their past, okay? So just take it where it resonates 
resonates for you, bulls, all right? Yeah, look at that. The fucking Ace of Pentacles here. Great opportunities coming towards you. Oh, my goodness, okay? Some of y'all are going to be getting some type of promotion here when it comes to your work environment here. Or you're getting some more opportunities just to come in to allow you to manifest more streams of income for you all here as well, I see. Because of this cycle here that I feel like had to close out here, this could have been even something that maybe was blocking you mentally here that you may keep yourself being stuck, not in order to manifest, you know, the goals or the dreams that you had in mind. And it could have been due to other distractions as well from family members, a particular partner here that maybe was holding you back. Or, you know, not being in a positive energy to allow you to move forward here and be in the space to be able to manifest, okay? Sometimes that can block us as well towards when we're around the wrong people, right? Or we're around the wrong crowd. That can delay us from things that we're wanting to manifest for ourselves and can put us in bad situations that we have to spend more effort and time getting ourselves out. And that can delay these opportunities for coming in, okay? So be mindful for that bulls okay yeah and there was a lot of delays here i feel like rather this is in regarding your situation here towards or again your person's situation for whoever that you are you know dating getting to know here or in a relationship here that could be causing a delay for the family causing a delay for you being able to focus with this particular person and being in a relationship with this person we have the five of swords here now we know mentally the five of swords is you know conflicts with other people outside of you externally here that are causing problems that are causing issues that maybe be projecting their own problems onto you towards or vice versa your person here and it causes situations again to delay these coins honey okay and so i feel like you guys have realized that right yeah we have the queen of wands here okay it's like despite all of this this person still finds you very attractive very beautiful very smart intelligent here is why i feel like this person here is steady trying to battle with you towards or this regarding your person's situation with your person here. Because someone in the mix here knows how very much well intelligent towards you are or your person here is. And so they're trying to stop everything at all costs to stop this blessing from coming in. To stop this opportunity from coming in. This is not the person that you want around or to tell your business to. I feel like whoever's in your energy here, you need to watch the things that you say here towards, okay? Because either there is an envy energy around you or someone that wants what you have here and they're upset because it's not able to, you know, come as they will want it to because they're too busy having to steal from people, places, and situations or do things that are not right instead of getting it the righteous way here. So this person being around your energy energy rather than someone you dating or this is a friend or a family member or someone that don't want to see you happy or manifest the things that you want to fulfill here and some of you all could have shared these ideals with this particular person here okay so be mindful of that and because of that i feel like some of you all had to Go ahead and separate yourself from this person. And by you doing that, this is why for some of you all, you feel like you are alone. And it's okay, okay? Being alone, you learn so much about yourself. You understand way more what you are here for, what you need to do, and where your happiness is. You start learning about yourself and knowing what makes you happy and things that you like to do. When you're around people consistently 24-7 and you're not getting time to yourself, this is is what takes place. A lot of drama. A lot of, let me tell you what to do and how to live your life. Let me take your ideals and make them my own. Okay? This is why it's always time to have some me time and work with yourself and live with yourself sometimes for a while by yourself. Because this is what we call that healing, that working on ourselves, that going to that divine energy and being truly our authentic selves. We can't do that if we're around people that's trying to control us right you have to have that time to yourself so don't feel bad if you're alone or if even if someone else looking at you as you being alone baby hey in your heart you need to be smiling because you could be in that person's place who's all over here busted and disgusted okay so you be grateful for that long
long time because that's your peace, honey. Okay, yeah, because you got people out here watching you like a dog here towards because of who you're choosing to be and what you're wanting for yourself in your life. So this person that you have separated yourself from and some of you all, this person here is feeling alone because you decided to separate yourself from them. Okay, so this could definitely resonate for however, you know, it is fulfilling in your spirit here. All right. Wow. Look at that. I want to skip work and come over. So now we're diving into your person's feelings, emotions, or the energies that are around you at this time and how they feel since you do have external energies here that are around and having their own opinions and feelings and what it is that they want to tell you what you should be doing instead of them focusing in on them damn selves. Yeah. I want all of you. So you definitely do have an energy out here because you're going into a new cycle here. And we have a new energy with communication coming here in as well. So some of you all have already met someone new here, I see. And others of you all, this is the type of energy that you're going to be meeting here. Someone here that enjoys being around you, Taurus, okay? That is going to not mind being around you and being alone, okay? So again, it's worth being alone so that way you know what you want, who you are, and needing to work on anything from your childhood, growing up, things that you need to reflect on here. So when it gets time to get to your companion here, you'll be ready. Okay, you'll be ready, right? So let's see what else here. Look at that. No more sneaking around. It's you, okay? I felt that, okay? Because there goes the seven of swords as we talked about here. So forever, whatever person, whoever this is here, this is what they was doing, okay? This person here, you know, you peep gang, you figured out what was going on here. And when they was with you, they wasn't watching you like a doll. But now that you decide to separate yourself from this particular person, oh, now they want to watch you like a dog. Well, isn't that a bitch? Now you got to make this shit make sense. Which one are you trying to do, okay? So, yeah, this is what I feel like you guys have found out. There was someone being in your energy that was not being honest. They portrayed you, okay? Rather, this was a partner, okay, of yours or someone that you were in a relationship here with. And, you know, the mask has fell the fuck off. The beings are out the fucking bag here, okay? Yeah, I know what I want and that's you. So this person all of a sudden now knows what they want, right? Even though they may have been busted here from sneaking around, I feel here, because they know what they were doing was not right. But again, this cycle has closed out, okay? So you're headed towards what is making you happy here, I see, yeah, and someone else you're making happy as well here. Yeah, you make me happy. You definitely have a new energy here that is coming in here. And like I mentioned here, some of you all, Taurus, has already met this person here, okay? Last card here, we have, I won't do this again. Wow. Yeah, okay. So definitely two different energies here, Taurus, okay? You have definite energy here from your past here that is showing up here, this particular person here that was sneaking around or not being honest to you at the time here. And then you definitely have this new energy that you've been messaging for some of you all, a lot of text messaging going back and forward here, okay, or definitely will be here where they're going to find themselves being so happy around you and just wanting to be with you, okay? So, wow, you definitely have some choices to make your loves, okay? So let's put some dice out on this. All right, let's see what zodiac signs this could be as well. We have Pisces energy here, bulls. Wow, some of you are this particular person here could be a Pisces here. All right, let's see what else we have here. Uh-oh, Taurus, okay? We have a Taurus here like yourself, all right? So some of you this person may be a bull here like you or have Taurus placements in their chart. We also have Leo, all right? Wow, some of you this particular person here may be a Leo here, okay? Wow, and let's see when is this message coming in here or when are you going to hear from this particular energy here? All right. Wow. We have 11. All right. So the number 11. Okay. This could be 11 days. This could be 11 weeks. Okay. This could be 11 months or just the number 11 can be very significant for the time apart that you two have been here as well or no communication here. So it's going to be different for everyone. Wow. Bulls. Powerful reading here. Once again, as always, beautiful spread here. Loves. Definitely if the reading here has resonated. Loves. Don't forget to like, subscribe. We would love, love to have you here a part of family and i am available for personal readings loves if you would love to book a personal reading with me tours all that information is down below in the description box again if you would love to be a part of our patreon family where again i do provide all content here 
you receive first. Again, you do get one-on-one -on -one weekly check-ins with me where we pull tarot cards for you. We get down into the get down, okay? And we also help with your birth chart and learn about ways to evolve spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. And again, you being able to have one-on-one -on -one connection with me through our live streams where I am being shown on camera and also you receiving free questions each and every time I go live, bull. So definitely if that's something that you're interested in, love, we would love, love to have you here, part of family. Thank you all, bulls, for your continuous love and support. And as always, love, remember, your health is your wealth. Bye-bye.